Welcome to Seed World 360. In the world of food innovation, protein isn't just a buzzword, it's a battleground. As global demand for plant-based protein surges, companies are helping farmers step up to the plate. At the heart of this movement is Petura Seeds and its new yellow pea variety, PS Boost. It's turning heads not just for its protein pack punch, but for delivering on the agronomic front too. See, plant-based protein isn't just a fad, it's the future, and farmers are poised to lead it. Tom Greaves is president of Petura Seeds in Manitoba, and he explained to me the raison d'etre of this new variety and what it signifies. Consumers are looking for a healthier, more sustainable foods in their diet. If you go to the grocery store these days, you see uh, they're getting protein into a lot more places. So you see it in fortified foods, beverages, snacks, supplements, uh, they're all having protein added into them. So I think people are just cognizant of getting enough protein into their diet, and, and that's part of the drive behind this. Um, you know, we're positioned really well as Western Canadian farmers. Uh, we have a lot of land where we produce a lot of protein. Uh, so there's a really good fit there. Tom's absolutely right. In Canada, the plant-based protein market is experiencing big growth. The industry is now worth over $1 billion, driven by a growing consumer interest in plant-based diets. Now, while most Canadians consume both animal and plant-based proteins, a notable portion, especially among younger demographics, are actively reducing their meat intake and exploring plant-based options. It's new varieties like PS Boost that will make that possible. Yeah, PS Boost was a variety that was originally selected by an end user actually for the protein market. So we, we picked it up, you know, we picked it up mainly because of the attributes around protein, uh, some of the amino acid profiles, and uh, it was really suited to that end use market. Now in saying that, you know, uh, one of the big advantages of PS Boost is that agronomically it's extremely strong. So it sort of bridges that gap between, you know, uh, producer or farmer productivity and having uh, good yields and having something that the end user actually wants to buy and has a good fit for them. AgWest Bio is an economic development agency that invests in agri-food and bioscience innovation. We look for gaps in the industry and we support those who are trying to fill them. We create initiatives like the Diverse Field Crops Cluster, Prairie Food Link, and the Global Agri-Food Advancement Partnership to fill those gaps. What really matters to me is creating value-added products as well as the networks in between. We invest in everything from crop research to patient capital for bioscience businesses. We work to commercialize innovative ideas. Early results from the field are painting a promising picture for PS Boost, a variety that's delivering on both protein content and yield with strong farmer feedback from Manitoba to Saskatchewan and great ratings in seed code integrity. It's quickly becoming a favorite across Western Canada. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we just, we need to continue to evolve our your innovation is extremely important uh, and, uh, you know, both on productivity side uh, in order to produce higher yields and, and have success there, but also to meet the demands of, of our food and what people are actually eating. So whether it's going into an ingredient, uh, pet food, uh, human consumer food, uh, it's important to make sure that it has attributes that are actually wanted and not just a commodity product in the future, I think. Looking ahead, the focus is clear, bridging the gap between what farmers need and what end users want by investing in genetics that boost yield, improve disease resistance, and deliver real market value. Tom is doubling down on his mission to put better tools in farmers' hands. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. You know, obviously, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's been, folk, our, we've promoted protein on it, but it's a, it's a higher level of protein, uh, but, and, you know, focus on yield, standability. And it has one of the highest uh, seed coat breakage uh, uh, ratings in the seed guide. So, you know, when I think about Manitoba this last year, we had a long-term uh, pea grower tell us that uh, he had very good uh, protein yields on it comparatively to some of his other uh, varieties he was growing. And uh, I'd say a long-term seed grower in Saskatchewan uh, also said it is his favorite variety right now, specifically around the yield that he got last year. So. You know, a couple of wins there, I'd say, and uh, you know, we're we're starting just to learn more about it. Uh, we had really good uh, sales and, and distribution across Western Canada this last year, and we're just excited to get more data and see how it's going to continue to perform moving forward. 
As global demand for plant-based protein continues to evolve, so too does the opportunity for farmers to lead the way with varieties like PS Boost and a clear vision for innovation that serves both the field and the marketplace. Seed companies are helping build a more productive, sustainable, and profitable future, one seed at a time. Yeah, I, I think you know, we're going to continue to invest into genetics uh, with better disease resistance, uh, areas where we can get better yield, uh, and attributes that really uh, align with what end users are, are looking for. So, you know, I think we can be the conduit between farmers and end users, uh, really tying that gap between the two of them. But ultimately, our goal is to bring value back to farmers. So uh, if there's varieties or we can bring value back to a farmer uh, and that's a win uh, all the way around, that's where we're going to focus.